Good afternoon. This is for Bill Gowdy. And uh, he, he made a pizza in a Dutch oven and he used cauliflower, cheese, and eggs for the uh, for the bread for the for the for the pizza crust. And I, I said on there that it reminded me or made me think that this would work too. This is zucchinis, which are cheap, and during the summer there's thousands of them. Everybody has zucchinis. Um, they're cheap, easy to come by. I've already grated this one and I used a big grater. What I'm doing now is getting a little bit of the water out. This fresh zucchini has a lot of water in it. We do this with frozen zucchini in the wintertime, my wife does. And it, the, the, the basic recipe is one egg to about a cup of shredded zucchini or crushed or however you want to do it. You know, you can grate it a lot finer and it's going to make a finer, more of a paste, probably get rid of more water, be able to get rid of more water. But one egg and flour, but my wife is gluten free. So for today, we're going to attempt this and see how it works. The, the seasoned the Italian style seasoned crumbs and see how they work. Um, and I'm going to get this mixed up with the eggs and the breadcrumbs and the zucchini and go that far. Now. You can add the cheese in. You can grate up cheese and you can add it. We she does it that way. I'm going to try it a little different way because I am going to cook it in my old cast iron skillet. I've got some oil in there heating up. And I'm going to cook it here. And I'm going to cook it for a little ways. And then I'm going to put the cheese and the stuff on and fold it over. I have some... Oh, I made that last summer. It's turmeric, peppers, onions, tomato, a little tomato in there. It's pretty good stuff. And probably some zucchini in there. Salt and pepper, Lowry's, I've got an onion. I didn't have any pepperoni, but I'm barbecuing today anyway, so I have plenty of meat. Well, let me get this mixed up. And we get ready to dump it in the frying pan, we'll be back. Okay, I've got the eggs, the zucchini, and the breadcrumbs in there. I've got them stirred up, a little salt and pepper, a little Lowry's. That's a little bit of zucchini that I had over the three cups. Now, traditionally, take this with the other can. These are supposed to be a fritter type thing, done kind of on this style. I'm going to do a couple, because it looks like I have a lot of batter in there, or whatever. And there. Something like that right there. And uh, I'll do three like that. And then I'm going to fill that pan up and see what it looks like. You'll see what the fritters look like when they're done. Okay? Okay, you can kind of get an idea what they're looking like as a fritter. And I mean, the, the sky is the limit when you're doing this. I mean, I'm kind of stuck on uh, like hot sauce, cheese, and stuff like that. There's no reason you can't take the zucchini, the eggs, the flour, and for God's sakes, throw fresh blueberries in there and make a, a, a blueberry fritter. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with this. And we're actually using breadcrumbs, and we did it without with very little flour yesterday I made some and they they keep well you can store them in the fridge they're great to go to I actually like them better cold I prefer food at a cooler temperature myself but you can see how the fritters look um, I'll give them a flip because I've only got one hand here you think somebody might have helped but you know how it is she, she wouldn't do this, Bill, because she says, I don't be on YouTube. Because I tried to get her to do it, but she wouldn't do it, Bill. But, you know, they should be pretty low in carbohydrates, I would think. And, I mean, you can flavor anything you want in there. You can make them as hot as you want or as cool as you want. They're good with just, just you know, it's like an egg and zucchini omelet. But there's a lot of zucchini in there. And a lot of the water does cook out. And it, it comes out nice. There it is, cooking away. See what we get. We'll give it a little while and see what it does. Can't even more than make a mess. Done that before.
those are what the fretters look like and they're done they don't stay together too bad. Here, Tori. What? Try a piece. Pick up this up. Pretty good, aren't they? No, Bob. Yeah, and you don't eat vegetables. Yeah, I do. How many zucchinis have you eaten? I like zucchini. You just ate it. Uh, Bill, I just realized my camera didn't collect the footage at the end of uh, zucchinis oh yeah there's one there there's another one there that one should be picked um, one there one there you know once they start coming they really come but it didn't come out the very end and I'm gonna tell you the one I had in the fry pan that I was trying to make like a pizza crust out of did not come out it didn't want work I didn't have heat enough outside to do it. Now, I think if it had been in an oven, it might have worked. I'm also thinking of doing it in a Dutch oven where it actually gets baked and not, not trying to fry the bottom and then put the stuff in the middle and flip it over. I think that might have worked also. But I think you got the general recipe to do it, Bill. And... Uh, it's good. I, I'm going to encourage you to give it a try because it's really got a nice flavor. You know, it really does. It's really good. Well, that's it for tonight, Bill. I'm sorry it didn't come out to show you what it looked like. It, it all got eaten. My daughter and son-in-law were here and everybody liked it. And my wife and I have been eating them as fritters and you saw what they looked like. But I still think there's potential there to use a zucchini. But anyway, better luck next time.